putting an end to identity politics. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. That until 2009, no NFL player stood for the national anthem because players actually stayed in the locker room as the anthem played. The players were moved to the field during the national anthem because it was seen as a marketing strategy to make the athletes look more patriotic. The United States Department of Defense paid the National Football yes. League five point four million dollars. I've been talking about five five point four million dollars between 2011 and 2014, and the National Guard six point seven million between 2013 and 2015 to stage on-field patriotic ceremonies as part of military recruitment budget line items. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. Are you aware of that? That until 2009, teams did not actually come out on the field for the national anthem. I wasn't aware of that. I seen, I, I've seen too many national anthem ceremonies in front of different things. For example, boxing or the Olympics and all the different sporting events that I just assumed the players came out. So I had uh, some knowledge dropped on me. Stephen A. Jackson didn't know it. Somebody told him. That's You know, that's the beauty of what guys like he and I do is you guys go, Kevin, are you aware of Blankety Bell? I'm like, no, I wasn't. And then we get to synthesize it. But let's talk about that for just a bit. Just think about what he just said. He says the government paid the NFL. So these owners have accepted money to do this, billions of dollars of your tax dollars in order to, to build this spirit of, you know, of nationalism. And for the record, I don't have a problem with that. If we want to take sport and say, you know what, this is a great opportunity to show nationalism. Congratulations. They did it. They cut a deal with the federal government. And by the way, I did see this, that it is a requirement now that the players go out on the field and take to, to the national anthem because they wrote it into their, their, the rules of the NFL. So every single player that has done this is in violation of their contract that has decided they're going to sit out. Every one of them. Not that they give a crap. They don't care about that. But what's interesting to me is that the NFL, number one, is disingenuous because it took money and said, we will play the national anthem and we will you know, show this spirit of nationalism. They, they didn't do it on their own. They didn't say, you know what, this is a great opportunity for us to help the country. National anthem is played before each and every sporting event. Let's get the team out there and show them these players. Let's show that the players are just as interested in the country as we are. That they appreciate the fact that they live in a country that allows them to become multimillionaires playing a sport that they probably grew up loving. They're probably not very good at much else. The majority of these players are not very good at anything else. Let's just be honest. They aren't. They weren't great students. They got coddled. They got passed along. Hey, come on. You know, you're a good student. Hey, can you help him? Can you tutor him? Can you take his test? Can you take his SAT? What does it take to keep him in our sports program? He's an amazing, he's a gifted athlete. All the girls are like, oh, man, yeah, I love Jaquan. He's so cool. Look, Jaquan, Jaquan, Jaquan. Uh-huh. Sport, all the, the college scouts are, hey, Jaquan, come check out our school. We'll give you lots of girls, some money. We'll get somebody to show you around campus. We'll show you the nightlife. We'll show you the party life. You can come do it. Just come play football at our school where we'll make billions of dollars off of you and others that look like you. And then hopefully, Jaquan, you don't lose any scholarship or you don't lose your way along the way. And you'll get into the NFL where you'll make lots of money and you won't know what to do with it there either. And you won't have anything that we've taught you. You're not going to have a a real education. You're going to have one of those play educations. We talked about this year for, for I've been covering this for years, saying the ruse of college football in the NCAA college sports in the NCAA college sports are great. The NCAA is the union that drives it. They make those colleges billions of dollars every year. It keeps academics going. Can you imagine if, if these these uh, same black folks took a knee in college? And said, we're not going to play under this type of a system. Let me tell you what would disappear from college. College. <laughs> Those classes, basket weaving 101 and, you know, uh, black angst and, and women gender studies and all that crap would go away in an instant. Because college couldn't afford itself. Do you understand the rules of how all this is put together? The connective tissues here. Hey, let's bring these black athletes and they'll work for free here. 
and the majority of them work for free in college. If you don't think that the black athletes in colleges are just as overwhelming and, and, and talking about the sports that matter, that you, if you don't think that they encompass the majority of those sports, you're out of your mind. Black athletes are generating billions of dollars in college sports, but you don't see any of them taking a knee, do you? You know, you, they're not fighting oppression on the on the field. The NCAA has been immune to this. Anyway, let's get back to the NFL. So the NFL is getting paid billions of dollars since 2009 to have these men stand at attention. And it's good. It's part of their salaries. It's a part of their commitment. They sign up to do it. So if you want to play in the league, the league has rules. But you know, no, we'll relax those rules for you black players. You know, you little babies. You pat pats. Let's relax those rules because you know what? We understand your plight. We understand the plight of the black man. If they did, they'd be taking a knee to every Democrat mayor in the country. Why are you letting so many black people be killed? Democrat mayor, they take a knee to the Democrat city council, overwhelmingly Democrat city councils. They take a knee to the school boards. They take a knee to law enforcement run by Democrats. Many of the very people that they decry, these black people, these cops are killing black people, are black, are run by blacks. At the behest of anybody, anybody, the mayor. So where where does the where is it lie? So the the point is this: these guys are supposed to come out and honor the country that lets them do this. And if they were to take a knee and they took it for the right reason, I would say, you know what? I understand your angst. I don't mind if if they wanted to have. I mean, I, to be honest with you, I don't think they should use football as a protest mechanism. I think there'd be plenty of them outside of football to protest. But I defy these guys to tell me why they aren't taking a knee for some of the things we're talking about. And they're paid to do it. So what's interesting about this being paid, and we heard that clip from Stephen A. Smith, is they're paid to do something on behalf of the military. So you, not only is Donald Trump right, you have a contract that says you're supposed to go out there and stand. You're supposed to go out there and support your team and showcase America. We've already paid you. These taxpayers have paid you. Now, I know what you think. You're like, well, Kevin, let's just take the money. I agree. I Take the money. I don't want any subsidies. Of, I don't want my tax dollars going to any NFL, anything. And I think if Donald Trump put his foot down and said, you know what? You guys want to take the national anthem and I want to do the national anthem. I tell you what we'll do. We'll take that money back. And we'll take any federal subsidies to the NFL back. And you can deal with it on your own. Now, that's going to be a a tricky issue because guess what? These white boys are going to get in the mix now. You know what I'm talking about? These owners. (laughs) Come on, Donald. What do you? And and if I were him, I'd say, hey, look, you made your choice. We paid you. You had a contract with us. And you violated that contract. So we want that money back. Shouldn't that be the first thing we get back? Come on. I'm, I'm giving you a second to think. <laughs> it's a pretty easy answer. That should be the first thing we get back. You're in violation of your contract. So we're taking our money back. And let's see how the, the NFL reacts when we take two years of revenue. When we say, nope, if even one person does not come out for the national anthem or takes a knee, we want our money back for the season. So we get two seasons of getting our money back. Let's see how Jerry Jones handles that. I'll talk about that putts in a second. I thought Jerry Jones was going to save the NFL. Instead, he screwed it. So the military is supposed to benefit from these guys. It's supposed to build the spirit of warrior. So essentially they're saying, if you want to get away from playing it as a sport, you know, being a gladiator in a football field and arena, we'll make you a gladiator for real. Come check out the military. Remember all the commercials that would run during football with the Army commercials and Marine Corps and what have you? 
That's what it, they've paid to to say to these kids that are watching these sports. You know what? If you don't make it to the NFL, you might consider being a real warrior. And the NFL reneged. I want my money back. I don't know how you guys feel. I want my money back. I want a refund. I want to stop the program. And I want to take all the money that goes to the NFL out. And I think that should be our mission is to say, you want to disgrace this country, you get nothing. He won't stop until he's the top rated radio talk show host in America. What kind of weird competitive freak are you? This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.